Hi guys, it's me, Namaste. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be reading Pooh's Bad Dream by Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh stood back and admired his new work. Ten pots of new, fresh honey. He sighed happily. Very nice, said Tiger. Just make sure horrible, harmful Puff doesn't eat them tonight. I wonder who this guy is. Hmm, probably likes honey. So Pooh's standing here and admiring his ten new pots of honey. Well, where's the tenth? Because there's only three rows. Uh-oh. I think Tiger ate one. The terrible Hufflepuff asks Pooh. He's a greedy gobbler, said Tiger. Have you seen him? Said Pooh, no, said Tiger. But it's even worse if you don't see him. You have to be very careful when Hufflepuff's sneaking around. I'll be careful, said Pooh. Waka waro, growled Tiger. For now. Good night, Tiger. Pooh locked the door, and his house seemed big and empty. Oh my. So Pooh locked his door, and he has his honey right over here. And his chairs right there. He climbed into bed and pulled his quill over his nose. He stayed that way for a long time. Horrible Hufflepuff. He thought he, he must keep watch. He watched and watched until he, until he couldn't open his eyes any longer. So he came in like this and looked like this after. He has his candlelight so that it's bright enough for him to see horrible Hufflepuff. Suddenly, his house shook like thunder. A big red Hufflepuff crashed through the door. He broke the dishes Trampled the lamps and he stomped into Pooh's cupboard and guzzled three pots of honey. Oh, cried Pooh. Oh, look at that. That's what he looks like. And he's eating three pots of honey. Uh -oh. And one crash because I think he ate that one before Pooh even noticed. Uh -oh. So he's still like. Yeah. The Hufflepuff turned at Pooh and looked in his horrible green eyes. He snuffled with his long blue snout. Oh, ho, he said, now I'm going to eat you. The Hufflepuff scrunched honey pot over Pooh's head. Mm, cried Pooh. He's going to eat Pooh. Pooh doesn't seem too scared though. He's like, who are you? <laughs> He's the number one. He's eating all the honey. He jumped out of bed. He reached the pot of his head, but the pot was gone. The Hufflepuff was gone, too. Where was he hiding, Pooh wondered. He was afraid to look. He ran to Piglet's house as fast as he could. So in a blink of an eye, the pot was gone, and he ran to Piglet's house. Help! Help! cried Pooh. A horrible Hufflepuff is hiding in my house. Puff Pooh. Uh huh. Hef who? asked Piglet, rubbing his eyes. A Hufflepuff. Help! Piglet had no time to think. If he had no time to think, he certainly would not be rushing out of the room to help Pooh and find the horrible Hufflepuff. He just came out of here. It's like he jumped through the window like, wake up, wake up, wake up. And then the next thing you know, they're running. Help. Come out, Hufflepuff, cried Pooh. Pig grabbed, grabbed Pooh's broom and held it high over his head. Pooh, asked Piglet, who had finally time to think. What will we do when the Hufflepuff... What will we do with the humble puff when we find him? Pooh thought and thought. Maybe we should go to the Christopher Robin, su suggested Piglet. Good thinking, said Pooh. Christopher Robin was in bed when they arrived. Pooh, Pooh, he said. You must have a real bad dream. Humble puffs aren't real. He was real, said Pooh. 
I felt him snuffling me with his blue snap, and he was going to eat me. If there's a Hufflepuff in your house, then pickle it and I will help you find him. Christopher Robin shouted. We will? I mean, yes, we will, said Piglet. I think Piglet's scared for saying that. And look at that. Christopher Robin, Winnie the Pooh, and Piglet. Together they mounted to find the horrible Hufflepuff and chased Pooh's house forever. They look under Pooh's bed. They look behind the mirror. They lifted the tablecloth and peered under the table. They opened the cupboards. Ten pots of honey stood side by side, just as Pooh left them. Pooh scratched his ear. It must have been the dream, but why did it seem so real? Hey, one pot of honey is there. And they're hiding. I think what Tiger Must did is that he ate all the honey in a blink of an eye. And then he went to like the nearest honeycomb and then poured the honey in there and then replaced it. Dreams can seem real, said Christopher Robin, but they only happen in your mind. Oh, said Pooh, if I was asleep, how come my mind was making a, a Hufflepuff? Every night when your body sleeps, your brain stays awake part of the time, said Christopher Robin. That's when you're dreaming, cried Piglet. Right, said Christopher Robin. Usually dreams are nice or boring, and then you forget them as soon as you wake up. But especially when you're tired or worry sometimes, the dreams turn into a bad dream or nightmare. I was a little worried, said Pooh, thinking of Tiger and Had, said, I'm so sleepy, but... <sighs> Pooh now understands it's all a dream. Piglet tucked Pooh into bed. What if my brain brings a Hufflepuff back? Asked Pooh. It's in your dream, said Christopher Robin. You're in charge. If he comes back, you just look in the eye and say, Hufflepuff, go away. Hufflepuff, go away. Hufflepuff, go. Boo, Pooh repeated until at last he was asleep again. Chris, Piglet and Christopher Robin tiptoed out. Then, suddenly Pooh's house shook like thunder. Big red Hufflepuff stomped right into Pooh's bed. Ho ho, he boomed. Hufflepuff go wa la la la, tried Pooh. The Hufflepuff was muffled. What? He said, Pooh. Go away, said Pooh. Yeah, he said, go away. The Hufflepuff stopped. His lip began to tremble. His tears came to his eyes. What's wrong, asked Pooh. I just wanted a little snack, that's all, said the Hufflepuff. And now, you're sending me away. Pooh began to feel sorry because he had been so rough at the Hufflepuff. But I'm feeling a bit rumbly in my tummy too, he said. So would you like a pot of honey? Aww. You know what? I think it's best if you share a pot of honey if you have some. Mm -hmm. The big Hufflepuff looked rather silly sitting in Pooh's chair, but he didn't seem to mind. This time, Pooh and the Hufflepuff dreamed of a sweet dream together. Look at that, they're all having fun eating some honey. The end. I hope you enjoyed this video. So the next book we're reading is A Little Golden Book Collection, Eloise Wilkin Stories. This is my favorite book. Mm -hmm. Everybody has their opinion, so tell me your opinion, because my opinion's a bit different than Mommy's. So we're going to read Busy Timmy. Mm -hmm. Reminds me you when you were young. Really? Mm -hmm. Very much. You will read really, really it. <laughs> Really? Mm -hmm. Timmy is a big boy. <laughs>
on. Gonna have to keep showing the sleeping. He can put on his outdoor clothes and he can find the shovel with this with a big sand and pail. I would love to go walking and hiking, so I would kind of relate to that. He goes down the steps, no one has to help him. He's a big boy now. Mm -hmm. He climbs in the sandbox. You know, it reminds me of one of those diaper ads. I'm a big kid now. <laughs> Robin, see, a Robin sees Timmy and comes flying. A squirrel key, sees Timmy and comes running. A rabbit seems, sees Timmy and comes hopping. They watch all Timmy make holes in big hills. You will see. You will live with that book a lot. He rides on his horse all around the flower bed. He bumps up and down. You know, if you go to the park, it would be like these little spring things that would rock and rock. And then when I was little, I would go on and I would say, Mommy, Mommy, look, I'm a horsey. Did you talk? Was you uh, I was like a toddler. Yeah. And goes back home again. Timmy goes up the steps. And opens the door all by himself. He gets ready for his bath. No one has to help him. He's a big boy now. <laughs> He splashes in the bathtub and he sails his new boat. He puts on his own bib. And he holds his own cup and he eats his supper with no help at all. Oh wait, if he eats his supper with no help at all, that means he's the one making his supper. And he's not using his help at all. Looks like he made like baked beans and mashed potato. He brushes his own teeth. He climbs into bed all by himself. You know what I would used to do when I had a crib and when I was old enough, for some reason I still remember it. I would, I would um, pretend I'm sleeping and when mommy come in I would say, pick up old mommy. And then Mama would say, it's okay, go back to bed, sweetie. Hush, says the robin. Hush, said the squirrel. Hush, said the rabbit. Timmy's a big boy now, and Timmy's going to go to sleep. Yes, Timmy is a big boy, and he's sound asleep. You are too. Timmy does a lot of things, and so can you. Guess who lives here? Somebody lives in this house for green overalls and striped sweater. He likes to ride his bike and build blocks. Guess who it is? It's Terry. Somebody lives in this house. She has curly hair and smiles very often. She wears a dress and sometimes an apron. She cooks good things to eat, and she tucks Terry into bed and, and kisses. Guess who it is? It's Terry's mother. Someone else lives in this house. He is very tall. He walks with long steps. He goes out in the morning and sometimes brings Terry a present when he comes home at night. Guess who it is? It's Terry's father. Someone else lives in this house. She is very short. She can't stand up, even holding her bottle onto a chair. She only takes milk out of her bottle, and she only has three teeth. Guess who it is? It's Terry's baby sister. Someone else lives in this house. He has rough brown hair and a tail that can wag, and he says, bow, wow, or woof, woof. He loves to go wherever Terry goes, and guess who it is? It's Terry's dog, Wolfie. 
Someone else lives in this house. She is soft and furry, and she has claws that can scratch, but she doesn't scratch very often. She okay, drinks. That's your cat. Yes, my cat, which is why I love her. She drinks milk from a saucer on the floor, and she likes to sleep in nice warm places. Guess who it is? You know what I would used to do though? In the middle of the night, my tigers would wake me up saying, meow, meow. And then I would ask her to come in my room and I would say, tigers, come in, come on. And she would jump in my bed and start purring with me and then the next morning I see her under my blanket, <laughs> attacking my feet for some reason. It's Terry's cat, Silky. Someone else lives in this house. He is very, very tiny, he can run fast, and he is gray all over with his tail like a little sharp spike. He comes out at night to hunt for crumbs. Guess who it is? Mike. Don't tell them. That's cheating. It's the mouse in Terry's cellar. Someone lives in the nest behind this house. She lives in, she builds the nest on the branch. She has four blue eggs sitting in that nest. She sits on the nest to keep her eggs warm because her babies are inside of them. Guess who it is? It's a mother robin. Someone else living, lives by this house. It's long gray fur and it has a beautiful wavy tail. It can eat very far from one branch to another. He loves to eat nuts with his tiny sharp claws. Guess who it is? It's a squirrel. Someone else comes to this house before anyone is awake. He doesn't ring the doorbell. He sets down some bottles on the porch. He picks up the empty bottles. Terry's mother has to put it there. Then he goes on to the next house next door. And guess who it is? the milkman on Terry Street. Sometimes someone rings the doorbell of this house. He wears a blue suit. He carries a big heavy bag on his back. He takes the letters out of his bag and he puts them in the box beside the front door. Guess who it is? It's the postman on Terry Street. Some, some days something comes to the roof from the sky. Patter, 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 says the roof. Splishity, splash. It says on walk, flowers on the window shine with wetness and all the leaves on the tree get a big drip. Guess who it is? It's the rain. But most of these days there's something shining down on this house. It makes the flowers on the window box grow and it makes all the people say to each other, what a very nice day it is today. And guess what it is? It's the sunshine. Sometimes something blows around and around this house. It says in the chimney. It rattles the windows. It swings the nest against the tree. And guess what it is? Cloud. You're close, but it's not a cloud. It's the wind. Something at night shines on this house. It isn't warm on the sun. It's thin and has a silver curve. Sometimes it looks like a half of a cookie. Sometimes it's big and round and shines like a mirror. Here, I'll give you a hint. It's an outer space. Outer space? Mm-hmm. And it's, and it's not a planet. It starts with an M. Monkey. No, not a monkey. Moon. Oh, got it. It shines the squirrel on the treehouse, shines the robin on the nest of her branch. It shines on Terry's sister in her crib, and it shines her mother and father fast asleep. It shines the window on the mouse on the floor, and on Silky is too sleepy to chase him. It shines on Terry, and on Wolfie who's stretched out in the floor. And guess what it is? Can I say it? No, thank you. It's the moon. Okay.
Okay. My little golden book about God. God is great. Look at the stars in the evening sky, so many millions of miles away. The light is shining of the sky long, long years before you were born. Yet the no, the farthest star God knows the way. Think of the snow-capped mountains' peaks, but those who are crumbling away with the age of earth before the people lived on the earth, and yet they were raised and sharp and new, and God was there too. Bend down to touch the smallest flower and watch the busy ant tug on its load. See the flash of jewels on the insect's back? This tiny world of your hands can span And span around of the mountains and oceans far off the stars and God had planned that. Think of our earth spinning in space so now we know for a day we play and work we face the sunlight and then we turn away. To this soft darkness and rest and sleep this too God is doing for God is good. God gives us everything we need, shelter from the cold, wind and rain, and clothes to wear, and the food to eat. God gives us flowers of the songs and the birds, laughter of the brooks, and deep songs of the sea. He sends us sunshine. He makes things grow, sends in turn the needed rain. God makes us grow too with minds and eyes to look about the wonderful world, to see its beauty, to feel its might. God is the love of our mother's kiss, the warm, strong hug of our daddy's arms. He gives us small, tiny voices in our hearts to help us from the wrong and right. God helps us hope, wishes, and dreams plan for our grown-up years ahead. He gives us memories of yesterdays and times that we love so that the love with us in our heart, for God is love. <laughs> mm -hmm. God is the love we feel for our playmates, family, and friends. For when we are hurt, sorry, lonely, or sad, we think of God and He meets us with there. God whispers in our heart, Do not fear, I am here, and I love you, my dear. Close your eyes and sleep tight, for tomorrow will be bright. All is well, dear child. Good night. Good night. The wonders of nature. You will love this one. Mm -hmm. You love nature, right? I love going outside and climbing trees and see, and I literally go to the tippity top of the tree and look afar, and then I'm like, oh, it's a kitty, it's a kitty, and then I would, and then I will, and then I'll realize both of my hands are off of the tree branch, and I will feel so scared, and then I grab on, and luckily I don't fall. That's how excited I am. You used to uh, climb that tree, mm -hmm. right? I'll show you at the end of the video which tree. In the wonder of the way would the woods know that spring is coming before the snow is gone, the sleeping plants send up the tree shoots, and then the tree buds will swell and burst. Isn't it wonder that some seeds have wings, and some have tiny silky pear shapes, and some seeds hidden away in fruits, and some seeds no matter how tiny the plant is inside. The food used is when it starts to grow. So here are tarpaces. So I love the maple ones, actually, here. So this right here is a maple. This is an elm tree. This is an ash right here. There are a milkweed right here. And there's like a dandelion. Of course you guys know that. And there's some in apples, it's beans. Dandelion is really good for your health. Oh yeah, once it grows, it's actually really good for your health. At school, there's like these little dandelions. I blow it like this and I eat it because it's actually good for your heart and you don't get any diseases or anything. That's true. That's why sometimes in the olden days, um, some people would put dandelions in your soup and then you would drink it. Mm -hmm. Isn't that the wonder of the sea? There are beautiful, strange gardens where the flowers are animals. 
sea anemones, sea lilies, sea cucumbers, sea grapes. They're all animals. Are they? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. So a sea urchin's alive, a sea lily is actually alive, and so is a sea cucumber, sea anemone, and sea grapes. Sea Ooh. grapes are not actually grapes though. They're like coral. Yeah, they're sugar, like coral. Sugar. There's a lot of hair, but I'll show you. So for this right here is a sea lily. Sea cucumber. Sea cucumber is right there. Isn't it a wonder that tiny coral animals under the sea, which never move, build great towers of the whole islands of their tiny shell? Yeah, that is very strange, huh? Mm-hmm. you think about that. Yeah, there's actually a brain coral that actually looks like a brain. It does? Yeah. Here. If this was pink, this would be a actual, actual creepy. Right. If it was pink, it would, and if, if it was in the bottom of the seat, and I saw it, I would say, oh my goodness. And I would pick it up and show mommy, mommy, it's a brain. Isn't it wonder that dry deserts on the island have thick stems which soar water and no leaves at all and lots of prickly spines that keep thirsty animals from eating them up? And a kangaroo rat who lives in the desert but that never drinks water but in his body out of crisp dry seeds? Really? Mm hmm So what it will do is that it will eat dry seeds and that's how he survives. Actually? They survive. Mm-hmm. They survive, but actually, if you have really strong gloves, you can actually break a cactus and drink the water out of it, but there's not that much but water. it's going to be pokey. There's so many mm -hmm. spikes. Yeah, but uh, that's why you said if you have gloves, oh. not plastic, but like actual hardware gloves, that would actually work. Mm -hmm. But also, there are some poison water in cactus, so you have to be really careful about which cacti you're going to drink. Oh. Isn't it a wonder that beaver can just bite young trees through in just a few minutes? He bites the branches and uses them a dam to build a... If you ever know what a dam is, a dam is like a big old bridge that stores water to keep it from overflowing. So the beaver, which is right there, is gonna technically break this, and then it's gonna put it right there. Oh, actually they cut the tree with their mouth, right? Mm -hmm. I heard that, I don't know if it's true or not. They, their teeth can grow up to six inches, like right here. Oh. Like a rabbit? Yeah, so what, they, so what they do is they bite on trees so it doesn't grow like so long, it goes down here. Oh. Isn't there a wonder that the jungle of the leaves grow so thickly and overhead that birds and animals on the ground never see the sun. And isn't there insects that just look like leaves? Actually, there is one. It's like a praying mantis, but not actually a praying mantis. What it does is that it's shaped like a leaf, and so is like this moth I saw at school, or like uh, Friday. I saw those beautiful moths. It's green and it has red dot on each like leaf. Moths aren't that scary if you look at them differently. Oh, Ooh, it's kind of stormy outside today. Oh, and like I said, it's really pretty for me. It's like have a very, it's kind of like a butterfly, but it's way fuzzier. So what? So technically, what it looks like, it's green on each same wing, and it has a red dot on each wing to make it look like a flower bloom. And for some reason, it was on like a door of a window. Really? Mm-hmm. And then I show one of my friends, and they said, and they started banging the window to get it away. Isn't it a wonder that far north in the land of ice and snow, we call the Arctic? And the animals with winter coats of fur are white as the snow. Isn't it a wonder that some birds of thousands of miles over the oceans and lands can return to the same special spots and lay their eggs? Wow. That salmon swim hundreds of miles to shore and fly up rivers and over the waterfalls to 
to return the special spots and lay their eggs. Shoot him. Shoot him. So this is what it looks like. That's the bird on this side. That's the salmon on the other side. I like this book. Look at the drawing. It's so good, right? So mm -hmm. realistic. Is it no wonder that fireflies can flash their lights in the bodies of flash on and off? That crickets chirp by rubbing their wings? Actually, that happens. So their wings are in the back. So what they do when the crickets happen, they just rub it like this, and it makes a really loud noise. Really? Mm-hmm. How do they uh, uh, do that with their mouth? Mm -mm. If you ever watch James of in the Giant Peach, so there's this violin, right? And then he does the violin, mm -hmm. and then after that, what he does is that he puts the violin down, and then he uses the back legs of it, and then he starts rubbing it together to make that noise. And that fi fish deep in the ocean have electrical lights dinging in their nose of, so they can swim. So these fish are called anglerfish, lancerfish, and firefly fish. Let me show you. Anglerfish are really scary because... Shoot them, shoot them. Tell them beware when they go on the beach. They live down, down, down in the ocean, like so deep that we can die. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. That's how hard the pressure is under the water. That's why they some... They can survive? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. They're very small fish, but they have a lantern. So if you see a lantern in the middle of the ocean, just remember to go back up and stay in the surface where you see the light. Isn't it a wonder that out in the pond, smooth, wiggly tadpoles lose their tail and grow legs and turn into frogs? And that fuzzy caterpillars weave silky cocoons and turn themselves into butterflies when they sleep? Aww. Show them. It's so cute. The butterfly. I love butterflies. Mama likes butterflies, I just do. not moths. What's the, what's the difference between moths and butterflies? Oh, so moths come out at night because if they come out in the daytime, it's easier for birds to eat them because birds eat moths. Mm. And actually, I watched this video on YouTube. When this person was five years old, his him and his twin sister went to bed, and then the next morning, they saw a moth next to the window. And then they took it to their preschool, and then they let it out at recess, and all, like, 24 of the kids there let, saw them go free, and then this bird, like it's a blue jay, ate them all. <laughs> what a twist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. And all the kids were screaming, like, ah, ah, and some even fainted because it was so weird. And isn't that a wonder that a little baby can walk or talk or feed itself, but it should grow up to be you? Rain. Rain is raining all around. It falls on the tree, umbrellas, and ships on seas. That house is so pretty. The swing. How would you like to go up in a s swing? Up in the blue air so blue? Oh, I think it's a pleasantest thing a child can do up in the air over the wall till I see so wide the rivers and cattle side on over the countryside till I look at the garden so green down to the roof so brown up in the air I go flying again up in the air and down windy nights whenever the moon and stars are set whenever the wind is high all the long nights, dark and wet, a man goes riding by. Late in the night when fires are out, why does he gallop and gallop about? When trees are crying out loud and the ships are tossed at sea, by on the highway low and loud, by the gallop he goes, he. By the gallop he goes, and then by he comes back and gallop again. We help mommy. Sure, them. It's so pretty pictures. This is We Help Mommy. That's you and William. <laughs> yeah, but we don't... <laughs> it's funny, though. We try to help Mommy, but then Mommy says, No, thank you. It's okay. And we help... I want you to guys be a kid, you know? Enjoy your life. Yeah, I have this little preschool shirt. 
that mom wants me to wear in public. But <laughs> no, it's actually true. I have it in my dresser right now, like over there. Because I want to be a kid, right? Mama said, no, 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 I want you to turn into a nine-old baby. Yes. Oh, wow, it's really stormy outside. I don't think I should show you. Sure, sure. We help mommy every day. We help her in the morning. As soon as we get up, we take off our pajamas. Bobby puts on his socks and pants and shoes, and he dresses up all by himself. I, I put on mine. My head goes over my shirt. Oops, my arm is stuck. Mommy will help me pull it out. Mommy buckles my shoes. You are a good girl, Martha, said mommy. Sure, you can almost dress yourself. Oh, she can We all go down for breakfast. Bobby breaks the eggs for Daddy to fry. I put in the bread in the toaster. Pops out hot and brown. Tell them you like to cook food with Daddy. Yeah, I love to cook with Daddy. I love making cakes. I love making breakfast. Pancakes are the number one thing I love to make. Tell them you one day you cook Belgian waffle all by yourself and it's so delicious. Oh yeah, I did cook a Belgian waffle. If you don't know what that is, it's like a French waffle. Mm -hmm. But it's not like squares and stuff. It looks like a cake, and it's really good. You should try it. We wave Daddy goodbye to Daddy from the door. Then it's time to make Mommy's bed. We pull until there's not a wrinkle left. Thank you, said Mommy when we were done. Swish, swish goes the broom. Puff, puff goes the duck. Dust mop. Brr goes the carpet sweeper, and it picks up the dirt. We are cleaning the house. Under the beds, over the rugs, and all the corners are cleaned. There's a dust cloth for you, says Mommy. Bobby picks up the tablecloths while I mop them under the chairs. Now it's time to wash. We collect the clothes. Bobby puts Daddy's clothes in the washing machine. I put my dolly's clothes in. And goes the soap. Bang! Goes the door. Mmm. All you know is this. <laughs> Trust me, I hear that in the middle of the night, and I'm like, oh my goodness. It scares me out because my parents set it on in the middle of the night, and it scares me. It's not middle of the night. It's only uh, 8, 8 o'clock, 7, 30, 8 o'clock. Yeah. My eyes are closed, but I'm still awake for some reason. I'm a bat. <laughs> you don't like sleeping, do you? No, that's how my body works. Tell them what you do always trick me. You know what I do though? When mommy tries to take a nap, I let her sleep first, and then I slightly move away from her, and then when William comes in, I use that for an excuse, and then I jump out of the bed and go downstairs to either help daddy play the piano or I watch TV. But watch TV is the number one thing I do. Mm. The clothesline isn't high like mommy's. It's just right for me. I hang up my dolly clothes, two clothespins for her dress, one clothes clothespin for her for each sock. When I see Anna and Jerry playing in their sandbox next door, come on over, said Martha and Bobby. What they call running along, says Mommy. Take your pails and shovels and have fun. Isn't the whole hair looks like you a lot? Well kind of, yeah. Because I have like this gold fade to it. Once in a week, we go to the supermarket. I ride in the cart while Bobby pushes. Up and down the aisles we go. What would you like to do today, asks Mommy. We tell her cereals and apples and cookies and raisins and a picture book. Mm. We pile them on my counters. Mommy has two big bags. Mommy and I have little bags to carry home. So, you want to know something, though? Cookies aren't normally a part of our shopping spree, but then every time we go to like a store, either mommy buys some sweets or I ask for some sweets. I buy sweet. I don't buy sweet that much. You True. guys like sweet. <laughs> yeah. I don't like candy. You guys do. Mama likes kind of like sweet. Not too sweet, but she kind of likes sweet stuff. She likes dates. Mm. Dates are like these. I like dragon fruits. Dragon fruit? Yellow dragon fruit is really good, actually. It's sweet. More it's perfect. Pink. Yeah, pink, it's a bit bitter. 
We like to put things away for mommy. The cereal goes in the cabinet. Apples go in the basket. The cookies and the raisins are on the shelf. You're a big help, says mommy. That's good. Soon it is time for lunch. Mommy gets the bread, cheese, and meat. I spread the butter on two slices. Bobby puts the meat and cheese on two other. Slap. Oh. Mommy puts the sandwich together. It's really yummy. Now we set the table. I place the mat for mommy and a kind place mat for Bobby and me. A knife and fork for mommy, a fork for each of us, napkins for us all. Children, I have the children, the children. I love her hair. I love your long hair too. Mm -hmm. For some reason, mama says, cut your hair, it's too very long. And then the next day when she sees it short, she says, I like your long hair better. And, you, and then I'm like, Mommy, you said you wanted short hair. I sit on a stool when I help Mommy bake pies. She gives me a little ball of dough to make a treat for Daddy. Roll, roll, pat, pat. We're, I'm making a treat for Daddy. He's a funny man with two cherries for eyes and one cherry for her mouth. Hmm. Daddy will be very pleased, says Mommy. And then she puts it in the oven. We had a busy day helping our mommy. Soon it is time to put away our toys and books and clothes and get ready for bed. That was a delicious treat, Martha, he says. Thank you for being such help for me and mommy. Sleep tight. Baby listens. Oh, show them. Look at the Robin. Is it Robin? No, that's a... Uh... Tell me what, what, what this is. I literally just forgot. It's not a robin. It's like carnal. Carnal. Oh, carnal. Yeah, carnal is red. Girl is red, right? Or boys? No. Boys, males are red. Females are brown. Oh. Actually, one time I saw a male and a female together, and they were pecking like this. Oh, what are the sounds that baby hears when she listens hard with her little ears? That's the sound of baby's clock. Gurgle, 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 glub, glub. That's the water from baby's tub. Bumpity, bump, 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 down the stairs. There goes her teddy bear. Dumbity, dum, dum, dum. Baby's beating on her drum. Clickly, clack, clickly, clack. Baby's train goes around the track. Beep, beep, beep. Goes the car on the street. Dogs goes bow, wow, wow. Birdies and sheep got go cheep, cheep, cheep. Pussy caps go meow and moo goes the cow. Pussy cap goes meow. Oh, look. Why does this remind me of a chihuahua? Why? It's a chihuahua. This reminds me so much of a chihuahua. It's a chihuahua dog. Oh, yeah, yeah. Long yeah, there's a, there's a pit bull. If you ever look at that pit bull, he's like, oh, wait. he's like, I'm going to get you, bird. That's what all dogs do. They chase squirrels, and then they try to get the birds up the tree, but they can't fly, so they bark for it to come down. Ooh, screams the siren of the fire truck. Clang, clang, clang goes the bell. Zoom, zoom, zoom goes the plane in the sky. They're way high, you can tell. Buzz goes Daddy's razor, and buzz goes the bumblebees. Yep. Snap goes Mommy's pocketbook. You really? Mm -hmm. And Jingle goes her keys. Baby rides the kitty car. Squeak, squeak, squeak. The baby sits and rocks. Creak, creak, creak. Whirr goes the batter. Mm, goes the beater in the batter. Whee! Cries the baby in the swing. Oh. This is like a French. Uh, like a uh, house. What you call that? Uh, an eating. Bonjour. 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 Actually, that's in like Paris. Dream, dream, raindrops go. Bells go ding dong ding dong. Oh, the sounds that baby hears when she listens with her little ears. Aww. Baby dear. Oh, baby dear. Baby Deer's my brand new baby doll. Daddy brought her to me on my very special day. 
It was the day that Mommy brought our new baby from the hospital. Mommy loves her baby, and I love mine. We give them our baby bottles. Then we pat their ba babies to bubble them. Mommy changes the baby, and I changes mine. Mommy baths the baby, and I bath my baby dear. <laughs> then we play little piggy with her pink with her pinky toe. Which one is real? Which one is fake? This right here is fake. <laughs> this right here is real. So is he copying mommy? What he does? Yes. She she copies her mommy, so she's technically acting like a grown up. So she's acting like this. Hmm, here you go, baby. And that's what mommy does in real life. We dress our babies in their bonnets before taking them out. Mommy has a carriage for her baby, and I have one for baby deer. We go on walks taking with our babies. Mommy sleeps in her white bed that used to be mine, and I put my baby in a cradle all her, all her own. Mommy has a book for her baby, and I have one for baby deer. We write things in our book about our babies. We write our, we smile at our babies and talk to them. Mommy says this is the way our babies know. They are the most wonderful babies in the world. Sometimes Mommy lets me hold her baby. Mommy, Mommy's baby is my baby sister. When my baby is a big girl, I'll, I will let her hold baby deer. Baby looks. Oh, what are the things that baby sees as she creeps around her hands and knees? There's a baby sock and there's a baby shoe. Baby lost the laces, laces so what will baby do? Mm hmm. Hmm, I think I know who did it. It's the dog. <laughs> the dog said nom nom nom. Like a chow mein, nom 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 nom. Spaghetti. Yeah. Spaghetti, I'm like, <laughs> it's delicious. My dad makes spaghetti, which is really good. Let's see baby's bonnet with a pretty blue, blue bow. See baby's sweater with buttons in a row. Now baby's in his stroller, ready for a ride. He opens all about him, his eyes open wide. Mm -hmm. Look at the baby in the treetop. What will baby see? Little birdie singing, chee, chee, chee. Baby looks at little sister sliding down the slide. Now she's in her wagon going for a ride. See baby brother swinging in the swing. There's a baby kitty playing with some string. Show, show them. You love kitty. <laughs> you know, one time my friend at recess showed me a picture of a cat. And then I went overloaded. Tell them how you um, met your cat. Oh, have we met our two beautiful babies? No, five, five books. Oh yeah, we had five books, but like we gave the three a new home. So here, let me tell you. So it all started on July. Last year? Yes, well not last year. Oh yeah, last year, last year. They're one years old right now. And then, so what happened is that on July, I don't know which day of July though. We came from vacation. We came from vacay, and what happened is Daddy was mowing the grass and doing the stuff in his garden when he heard these tiny little baby. They were like, And then Daddy looked in the bush. I didn't really see, but I'm telling you guys what I think he saw. And then he looked into the leaves and he saw four baby kittens, but we found the other one like a few days later. One was hurt, had an injured paw. But he's all good now. Very good. So the first one my father saw was Leo. Leo is a very generous cat. He's actually very, very lovey-dovey. You know, it's really cute though. So what he would do, he would go up to you and he would rub you across the leg like this. Yeah. And then when you would eat, he would, he would slightly paw you and say, hey, 
Can I have some? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll be really cute. And then mommy won't. And mommy can't resist those baby doll eyes, so mama would give him a little bit of meat. And Tiger, on the other hand, who is my beautiful baby, she is a bit different than Leo. Well, not necessarily a bit different. Like This is Leo, my father's cat. Say hi, Leo. He's very lovey-dovey, you see right now. If I pet his head, he would love to cuddle. So remember what I said about he cuddling me? Oh, <laughs> you know what's really cute though? Every time I would hold him and I let him go, he would like fall and then he would start cuddling me, which is really cute. That's why you're my little buddy, aren't ya? You're daddy's baba. It's true. What do you like, Susan? Tell me. So what Leo likes to do is that he will like be like this. Hey, can I have food? He'll do that very slightly and gently. And then what will happen is that I will give him most of the meat. I will. You're lucky I give you meat, buddy. Say thank you. Say thank you. Good boy. So, like I said, we found. So, Leah was the first one Daddy saw. Oh, hey. <laughs> he likes falling for some reason. And this is his tail. He likes to. <laughs> Did you? He likes to play with it. Did you? Did you? Dub it up. Yeah, he loves playing with his tail. He would sometimes do that though. He'll like, but for some reason he only does it to daddy. He'll grab daddy's hand and then he'll just rub it across his head like this. Like he would literally, like legitimately. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> He's a tickle on the face. Tickle, 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 And what he will do? <laughs> He's a karate person. Yeah, you're karate, aren't you? Yeah, he's a bit of a karate dude. Hey, is it okay if I can show your sister now? This is Tiger, my beautiful baby cat. Say, say hi. Oh, she, she's a very big buddy. I just fry it up here. She doesn't play with her tail for some reason. Yeah, she resists. Tell them uh, what she's really good at. It. She, you know what she's really good at? Waking me up in the middle of the night. How she does? Wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> no, for real though. Uh, hey, are you embarrassed right now? What? Oh, it's true, Tuggies, you do. Calico? What kind of cat they are? Oh, these are baby cabbies. They're big cabbies right now. Like I said, they're one years old. One year old, yeah. Tiggy is a tabby. So a tabby had the M mark on the head, like this. And I asked Daddy, why do they have the M mark? And Daddy said, mad. <laughs> <laughs> because they get really mad very easily. And I'm like, that ex actually explains why. And then what will happen, in, in the middle of the night, she will, I would say, Tiggy, psst, psst very raspy because I just woke up from her meow and then she would come in and start purring and then the next morning she's gone and then for some reason my door's closed and then I find poop next to my bed so that's all for today I hope you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe click the bell icon also thank you for giving me all these views and subscribers I have now 113 I mean wow right I started off with like a few subscribers, like five, and then I whoop da all the way to 113. That's a big skip. Thank you guys so much for that. Also, keep on dreaming because your dreams will come true. I dreamed that this will come true, and look at that, it did. Also, I have this vlog at Target, which is really fun because I bought some Halloween stuff that I can show you later. And tell them uh, you work very hard too. Yes, I work very hard for these videos. That's why I read such a long book today. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye bye, my pretty angels. Plus, this is my mom's favorite section, which is what the most is the candles.
Oh, this is, it smells so sweet. I used to smell every single candle when I go to a candle store. Okay, so let's go over here where all the blankets and stuff are. I love fuzzy blankets. Very fuzzy blankets. Also, oh, 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 feel this. I don't feel this part. Oh my gosh. I can just sleep on it. Every time I would go to a store, I would find something fluffy and then try to lay on it, like these guys. Oh, look, the mirrors. The mirrors. There's also a black one, there's a white, and there's a purple, if anybody likes that. Oh, look, there's... Mama has these at home. Orchids. Orchids? Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh look, there's a really cute lamp post. Like you press his book. You come by, uh, stop buying a target. Huh? Tell your followers uh, to stop buying a target. They have really nice and big sale. Mm hmm They actually really do. Also, if you like Starbucks, there's literally like Starbucks in the front of the store. Let's go this way. Oh look, I haven't learned eucalyptus. It doesn't really smell like anything. No, it smells. Ooh, this smells really good. Who wants. Mommy, do you want to smell some candles? No, thank you. You sure? Okay. And these are all the posters. Oh, they have a Demon Slayer poster. There's Tanjiro, Nezuko, Zenitsu. Hold on. Do they? Oh, the star awards. Let's go over here. Ooh, love the yep, Mama loves furniture. I and I love the fuzzy ones. They're really cute. This one's leather, I think. Like leather furniture. Mama likes the leather. And I like fuzz. And now here's some more candles. And here are the towels. Mm -hmm. This is the fun part. These are like little babies stuff. Like, like they're like if you, you know, if every if anyone's like had a child or like a baby, your mother would used to cradle you in the arms while like. And they would choose, hmm, which one for my son or daughter? And then they would choose, like, half of the store. Oh, this is really cute. There's, what's, which one is that? This is Conway. Oh, here's the plush section. There's, oh, wait. Minecraft. What is this? What is that? It's a bird. It's a type of bird. Oh, look at that, it's Dogmon. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Purse lady, bearer of the purse. Let's keep on going. Sure, why not? The kid section's like, Oh, these are really cute. Here's another mirror. That's one kind of ruined. True. Yeah, these are like the toddler section. 